Yeah, what's going on everybody? Richie with Plemons Lawn and Landscape. Uh, got some real quick uh, maintenance to do today. Gonna cut back some crepe myrtles, roses, and some grasses. So. So there's a few of them cut you know a lot of people like to tape them up but uh, tape just don't seem to hold and by the time I get them taped up I could already had them cut so anyway we'll get back to cutting some more and uh Take just a second to do it, and then uh, we've still got that crepe myrtle, that crepe myrtle, that crepe myrtle, and those roses to trim back, and one more grass right over there. Then we're gonna tackle those trees that you see back there in the back. You gotta limb those up to where they can actually get a lawnmower. The neighbor can't get his lawnmower under the edge of the tree, so we're gonna go ahead and trim those back for them too. Get those taken care of. And then uh, after that, we've got a small uh, leaf cleanup to do today, so we'll bring you guys along for that as well. It's only two things we've got going on today. Should take up most of the day, though. So, But uh, anyway, guys, if you haven't checked out echomeansbusiness.com, make sure you do that. If you haven't given us a like, go ahead and give us a like and uh, subscribe to our channel so we can continue to keep bringing you uh, new content. And, uh, you know, don't be afraid to comment if uh, there's something else you want to see. Uh, you know, it's winter time, so there's not a whole lot going on in the winter time, just little things here and there. So, uh, let us know what you guys want to see. All right, so we have crepe myrtles here. A lot of you call it crepe murder, I know it is, but this customer wants it done that way. That's the way they've always had it done, that's the way they want it done. And you can't really, I'm, I'm not a person, if, if the customer's going to pay for it, and I know it's not going to kill the plant, then I will do it. I mean, if it was going to kill the plant, I would refuse to do it. But we know that the, the plant will survive. So they've done it for years. And so we are going to kind of cut these crepe myrtles back pretty far. They're up against the house. And so well, they're up close to the house. We want to try to get them off the house. And sometimes that's the only way to do it. So I know it'll probably upset a lot of you. I'll probably get comments about how I murdered the tree and all that, but that's just done it here for years. That's the way the customer's done it for years, and that's the way the customer wants it done, so we're going to continue to do it that way just for them. Uh, you know, most places we can explain to them that's not the proper way, and they're okay with it. But uh, today, that's the way they want it. That's the way they're going to get it. So we got the crepe myrtles cut, which a lot of you know, like I said, will say it's crepe murder, but I mean, it's what the customer wants, it's what we do. Then we got the roses cut back. That crepe myrtle, she wants it to look more like a shrub, so we had to cake it really low. All the grasses are done. 
Now we've got one more place. Sorry, I'm having to do this on my phone. My GoPro died, so got uh, one more place to do today. I'm gonna do a leaf clean up there, get that taken care of, and uh, hopefully we'll have enough footage to put a video together. So, yeah, we're at our next one here. We're gonna blow leaves, and all we gotta do is blow them in the woods. Pretty simple. Nothing difficult about it. So, walk back here and we'll take a look at it real quick. It's a one time thing. A lady called me. Once it's done, they're trying to put the house on the market. So, we're just gonna go ahead and blow it all out and uh, and get it cleaned up so they can they can get it sold. So we got the backyard here, all around this building, around this shed, and we're gonna blow them down here in the woods. Here's the house. Of course, we got the backyards to do. We'll probably take the weed eater, knock down some of the tall stuff around the buildings and stuff, get those cleaned up. Just you know, just make it look nice and neat so they can get it sold. So we'll get a little bit of footage here and uh, get done and we'll call it a day. We still got a few more days to slay. It's gonna get so much louder. Now we're here to take control. Over your body and over your soul. We're gonna take back everything and lose it all. Lose it all. We're down to the last part. We're gonna weed eat now. Some of you may have noticed I brought my dad to work with me today. He uh, he's retired and he likes to get out and work a little bit. So I decided to bring him with me today and uh, let him do a little weed eating, blowing some leaves. He he loves this stuff. So get him out of the house, keep him healthy, and uh, get to spend some time with my dad. That's that's the best part. That's some of the stuff we do through the winter months, just little cleanups, things like that. Not a whole lot going on, uh, just small little detail work. Uh, you know, what do some of you guys do during the winter? What are you guys doing to, to stay busy if you're not doing stuff like this? So uh, leave a comment down below. If you haven't already, make sure to give us a thumbs up and like it. Uh, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell button. That way you get notifications every time we got a new one come up. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, like I said, I've been telling everybody I've got a uh, a setup video coming up pretty soon uh, so you'll see the uh, enclosed this is uh, the open trailer today but uh, we'll have the enclosed have all of our stuff in it got some beautiful green touch industry racks in there you know and uh, make sure to get the shear cage those come with it that way you know we get these good-looking shear cans in there you know we want to protect those things those are nice and uh, some of the best uh, fuel cans I've ever seen and uh, ever had the pleasure to use. So pretty happy about that. Got a giveaway coming up, 500 subs. And uh, we've got a bunch of stuff coming, man. I mean, we've, we've got a whole lot of content getting ready to come out uh, as soon as spring hits. So anyway, guys, I'm out of here. I'll see you guys in the next video.